Lesson 11 homework. Number one, estimate the product, solve using the standard algorithm. Use the thought bubbles to show your thinking. Draw an area model on a separate sheet if that helps you. A, two and 42 hundredths times 12. So we're gonna start by estimating. So two and 42 hundredths is, I'm gonna round that to two. And I'm just gonna leave 12 as 12 because we know two times 12 is 24. So our answer should be around 24. So now we're going to multiply. So they've changed two and 42 hundredths. They multiplied it by 100 to get 242. So we're going to pretend that the decimal point isn't there for now and just multiply 242 times 12. So starting with the two, two times two is four, two times four is eight, and two times two is four. Done with the two, on to the one. one Add our zero, one times two is two, one times four is four, and one times two is two. If we add it together, we get 2,904. Now over here in this thought bubble, they said think, 2,904 is 100 times too large because we multiplied by 100 over here. What is the real product? So what we need to do is divide by 100. So we're gonna move our decimal point two places to the left. So it goes right there. So our answer is 29 and four hundredths, which is close to our estimate of 24. Part B, four and 13 hundredths times 37. So we have four and 13 hundredths, I'll round to four, and 37, I'll make that 40. Four times 40 is 160. So our estimate is around 160. So four in, in our thought bubble, four and 13 hundredths times 100 equals 413. So we're just gonna multiply by 413. Seven times three is 21, carry the two. Seven times one is seven, plus two is nine, and seven times four is 28. Erase what I carried, put my zero down. Three times three is nine, three times one is three, three times four is 12. Add everything together. Oops. So nine plus nine is 18, carry the one. One plus eight is nine, plus three is 12, carry the one. Five and one. So now it, I'm looking at the thought bubble that they did before. So they said that it was 100 times too large, which it was, we multiplied by 100. So 15,281 is 100 times too large. So we need to do 15,281 divided by 100, and we get, we move the decimal point two places to the left, so we get 152 and 81 hundredths. Okay, solve using the standard algorithm. Two and three hundredths times 13. So we're, since we need to move the decimal point two places, we're gonna be multiplying by 100. So at the end, we need to divide back by 100. So 203 times 13, starting with the three, three times three is nine, three times zero is zero, three times two is six. On to the one, put our placeholder. One times three is three, one times zero is zero, one times two is two. Add everything together. So I get 2,639, but I need to divide that by 100. So our decimal point will be right there. So our answer is 26 and 39 hundredths. 53 and 16 hundredths, so I'm gonna to need to multiply by 100 again. So at the end, I'll divide by 100 times 34. So I'm gonna have 5,316 times 34. Four times six is 24, carry the two. Four times one is four, plus two is six. Four times three is 12, carry the one. Four times five is 20, plus one is 21. Done with the four, on to the three. Put our placeholder down. Three times six is 18, carry the one. Three times one is three, plus one is four. Three times three is nine, and three times five is 15. Add everything together, six plus eight, is 14, 
carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. 1 plus 9 is 10, carry the 1. 3 plus 5 is 8, and the 1. Now, we have 180,744, but we need to divide that by 100, so we'll put our decimal point two places to the left. We get 1,807 and 44 hundredths. C, 321 times 23. So again, two places means we're multiplying by 100. So I'm going to have 37,123 times 53. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. Carry the 2. And 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Erase what I've carried here. Put my zero down. Five times three is 15, carry the one. Five times two is 10 plus one is 11, carry the one. Five times one is five plus one is six. Five times seven is 35, carry the three. And five times three is 15 plus three is 18. Add them together, we have nine, 11, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 1 plus 6 is 7, 1 plus 5 is 6, 1 plus 8 is 9. So we end up with 1,967,519, but we need to divide it by 100. So our decimal point moves over two places, and we get 19,675 and 19 hundredths. And part D. Multiply that by 100 to make it 157 times 432. Starting with the 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 11. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Erase what I've carried. Done with the 2. On to the 3. Put my 0 down. 3 times 7 is 21, carry the 2. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. And done with the 3, on to the 4. That's the hundreds place, so we need two placeholders. 4 times 7 is 28, carry the 2. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2, 22. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. Add all of that together. 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 8 is 18. Carry the 1. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And bring down the 6. So we get 67,428. But I need to move the decimal point two places to the left. So we get 678 and 24 hundredths. Number three, use the whole number product and place value reasoning to place the decimal point in the second product. Explain how you know. So if 36 times 134 is 4,824, then 36 times 1 and 34 hundredths equals, well, 134 is 100 times greater than 1 and 3, 34 hundredths. So if we divide by 100, we'll get, for this, we will get our answer. So our answer will be 48 and 24 hundredths because 134 is 100 times greater than 1 and 34 hundredths. Part B, if 84 times 2,674 equals 224,616, then 84 times 26 and 74 hundredths. So these are the numbers that have the same digits. So 2,674 is 100 times greater than 26 and 74 hundredths. So if we divide this answer by 100, we will have our answer. So we just need to move the decimal point two places over. So it's going to be right there. 2,246 and 16 hundredths. And see, 19 times 3,211 3, equals 61,009, then 321 and 1 tenth. Well, 3,211 is 
This time we've only moved over one place, so it's 10 times greater. So we, our answer here, we just need to divide by 10. So move it over one place and we get 6,109 tenths. Number four, a slice of pizza costs $1.57. How much will 27 slices cost? So I'm going to multiply that by 100 to make it 157, and then we'll divide by 100 at the end. So 157 times 27. Start with the seven. Seven times seven is 49, carry the four. Seven times five is 35, plus four is 39, carry the three. Seven times one is seven, plus three is 10. I'll erase what I've carried here. Done with the seven, onto the two, put zero down. Two times seven is 14, carry the one. Two times five is 10, plus one is 11, carry the one. And two times one is two, plus one is three. Add everything together. We get 4,239, but we need to remember to divide that by 100. So we'll get 42, and 39 hundredths, but we were talking money, so it's $42.39 is how much 27 slices of pizza would cost. A spool of ribbon holds six and 75 hundredths meters. A craft club pays, buys 21 spools. What's the total cost if the ribbon sells for $2 per meter? Well, first, let's figure out how much 21 spools would cost if there's six and 75 hundredths meters on each one. I'm going to multiply that by 100 and make it 675. So 675 times 21. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 7 is 7. And 1 times 6 is 6. Put our 0 down onto the 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 7 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. 2 times 6 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. So we get 14175 and it's $2 per meter. So I'm going to multiply that by 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 7 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times 1 is 2. Now our final step, we need to divide that by 100 so that we can get back to where we started. So our decimal point is going to go right there. And we have $283.50. And part B, if the club uses 76 and 5400 meters to complete a project, how much ribbon will be left? So this was how much ribbon they started with. I'll put my decimal point there. So they started with 141 and 75 hundredths meters of ribbon. They used 76 and 54 hundredths meters of ribbon. So we just need to subtract those. 141 and 75 hundredths minus 76 and 54 hundredths. 5 minus 4 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. 1 minus 6, we can't do that. Borrow from the 4. 11 minus 6 is 5. 3 minus 7, we need to borrow again. 13 minus 7 is 6. Bring our decimal point straight down. And we have 65 and 21 hundredths meters.